Yeah, yeah, so keep the steel low and the flow I got your head nodding cause your neck already knows So pass the mic and watch skills rip fast Watch these skills rip fast So pass the mic and watch skills rip fast Watch these skills rip fast Rip fast, rip fast Dave out here. Uh, we're just doing a little bit of sled skiing today and I uh, want to take you through some of the uh, common practices for sled skiing if you're brand new to it. Um, number one, the best thing you can do before you start sled skiing is learn how to ride the machines. I know a lot of you out there do, but some of you just buy it to start skiing with. You want to spend as much time on the machine as possible by yourself so you learn how to counter steer and get through areas because adding another person either in front of you squirrel style or tandem riding Canadian style side by side is uh can be difficult first and foremost secondly if you're going to start sled skiing is you want to get a good rack uh, cheetah factory racing makes the best ski rack on the market uh, you can have skis or snowboard or now they're combination ski and board rack and why it's so great is super simple take your skis into the rack your pole And you're good to go. So you can see how quick it is. The turnovers just happen that much faster. All right, well now we're in the front of the machine. We're actually gonna talk about riding styles. When I go with my uh, girlfriend, Kim, you'll notice she rides uh, what Dan Treadway calls Squirrel, which I love that name. She sits in front and sort of hangs on to the bar here. And like so, and what this does is it actually allows me to stand behind her and I can ride the machine just like I'm riding through the trees. I have all the control in the world, so that's actually the best way to do it. But if you're riding with your buddies, you probably don't want to ride that way and they don't want to ride that way. So we're going to talk about Canadian style, which is the, the person with the most experience or the owner of the sled probably should be in control of the throttle. And the best way to do that is have the driver have their left hand on the grab bar and they're going to control the throttle. You come over here on this side. The passenger, the one with the less experience, is going to use their right hand to grab the grab bar and you're going to put all your weight on there. You're not going to pull the steering because it makes it harder for the driver to steer. You're going to hang on like this and you can see my feet if you come in close here. What I do is put one foot on the running board right here and I actually put the other one behind and I put the knee into the seat and that gives me a really balanced position and you'll just get more and more used to it. Now this person really their job is, is if the hill is canted this way, then this person wants to lean out and bring the sled back even. And likewise, the person who's driving will do the opposite on the other side. And you really have to work together. The worst thing you can do as a new person is, you know, the person tells you to lean out and you just reef out like this. The machine's going to dive that way really quickly and then he's got to, the driver's got to make a counter um, action to that and you start weaving all over the trail and it actually makes the trail more bumpy and makes it harder the next time. So, passenger, be really neutral, hang on to the grab bar, driver's hanging on on that side, and the passenger's gonna control the brake if you need to, and likewise, the driver's gonna be controlling the throttle. And working together, you can get up into awesome areas. So get out, practice it, practice it in an easy area, you'll learn the hang of it. That's sled skiing, we'll see you out there. Like battling wood. By the way, my name's Malik, the five foot freak. They say we get together by the end of the week. She simply said no. Lay 